recipe. Hey guys. Yeah, you Welcome can do back intro. to another video. Is this 25,000 subscribers? Yes. Grant's 25,000 subscriber special. baking cookies. Look it, we have our matching pajamas because we are that extra. I asked you guys to ask us questions on my Instagram. We're gonna be baking chocolate chip cookies and then answering them throughout. So some of them are for like both of us and then also some of them are special for okay. Grant okay. and he hasn't seen any of them. So I've seen them, but he doesn't know any of them. I'm gonna put this on. Okay, I haven't even picked them out yet. So we're just gonna like go through and It'll be a surprise for us both. Okay. I'm a little nervous. Okay, actually, first question, how old are you? I'm 17 years old. Yeah, so he's 17, I'm 16. We have a one year age gap. He's a senior, I'm a junior. How did we meet? Okay, do you want it? Wait, <laughs> yeah. You answer. No, you got it. No, you answer. It was during dive. Yeah, it was during dive. So basically, he's not a diver. I am a diver but he joined the high school dive season and obviously I do it too because I'm like a club diver and we met, but I knew him before. He didn't know me, but I knew of him. Which oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll go, I'll, we'll go into that later. That's a different oh, one. Man. You explain like how we started dating and talking while I get this stuff. Okay. So I met her on the dive team, but, or we'd like talk during dive. When was it? Oh, some of her friends Wanted me to ask her to prom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it like that. Like they were just begging me to ask her to prom. Oh my God. So I gave her a, a charity prom out. I'm kidding. I really wanted to ask her to prom and there we go. I gained the courage eventually. Is that kind of when we started talking? Yeah. Well, in, yeah. Because we weren't well, really we before. I know, I was I thinking about you. that. Okay, I feel like that's a good lead into the next question. So we met during dive season and we've been dating. You're looking. Okay. Nice try. Um, we've been dating for six months on the 20th. I don't know when this is getting posted, but. What day is it? 15th. 6th is 15th. So soon. Six months soon. Then I guess I will say the story because I was looking for a more specific question, but What's in general, story? it's just how did you guys start dating? So his side is kind of different. He kind of already explained oh. the prom, but my side of the story is a little bit more funny. So basically, I don't know how much I want to expose. I will. Okay. Basically, I had a different boyfriend at the time that I first ever saw him. So he met me during dive season, but I actually saw you way before. And I had a different boyfriend at the time and I was walking through school and I saw his side profile, show them. Like, it's literally, like you guys, his nose, just, his your nose drew me in. I was walking across the hallway and I saw his side profile and I literally stopped in my tracks. I grabbed my friend and I was like, whoever this kid is has the best side profile I've ever seen. And like, I had a different boyfriend at the time, moved on with my life, that was that. <laughs> then dive season starts and I broke up with my boyfriend, not because he was there, just, it was, it was a coincidence. We broke up, dive season starts, he joins and I was like, no way, that's crazy because my friend had asked me like, if you weren't dating this person who was the one person that you would date and I was like, that one kid with the side profile. I didn't even know, like, I didn't even know his name, you guys. Like, we did not know each other at all. And then he joined Dive and I was like, oh my God, is this a sign from the universe? So of course I started working the magic, talking. <laughs> um, he was literally clueless too. I was flirting so hard and he did not catch a hint, like at all. And then my friends knew him a little better. You did not. Okay. Don't even lie. <laughs> you were a Go on with the story, God. <laughs> and so I had my friends put in a good word for me, asking if he would take me to prom or anything, because it's around prom season. And then he asked me to prom. Wait, I'm gonna put a picture right here. <laughs> Travis is gonna be there. Um, prom. Yeah, and it was a really cute poster. He showed up to my door, but I didn't expect it. Like, I didn't expect it at all when he came. And one of my friends actually opened the door for nervous. me. I yeah. brought, like, Carter. <laughs> yeah. I have a little crew. Yeah, he brought his support crew, but it was super cute. Okay, need to start baking. Pause. Wait, let me, like, move. Get the supplies. I'm gonna move this, like, a little bit. <laughs> we need the recipe first. Wait, are we doing the one with the oats? Do you want to? I don't okay. know. Comment down below if chocolate chip cookies should have oats or not, because I like them, but I feel like not everyone does. 
You know what we should do? What? Have you seen that thing where like they do the one person can't hear, one person can't see, one oh, person can't talk? Oh, we should do that. Like, oh yeah, we should. Chips. Yeah. There's the location of the chips. Cut that out, please. Cut, cut out what? Just whatever <laughs> I just did. Okay, we got our materials. First kiss story. You get to tell this one. Go in full detail. They want all the, <laughs> they want all the tea. Okay, so how many times do you think we found out before this? Uh, oh like, my god, like so many. No, we didn't. We like hung once. out. Okay, second we, time hanging out ever. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. We had hung out a lot as friends, like with a bunch of friends, before we ever started dating, before we went to prom, anything like that. And then I was his first girlfriend. Just throwing that out there. What were we doing? We were hot tubbing. I have a hot tub in my backyard. It was pretty cold. We were hot tubbing. And then... We got out of the hot tub, moved to the fire. So we're at the fire, right? <laughs> one big chair, a little loft, one of the circular ones with like a big pad. Both sit in that one. <laughs> Two hours pass. <laughs> you guys, I wish, I wish he was joking. Like, you don't understand, Two okay? Hours. He was so I shy. Was he was scared of me. I am scared yeah. of you. You guys know I like to go to bed at 9 30, 10. I would like what? It was like two or no, something. No, one. It was like literally 12. 10. 12. <laughs> 11. Okay, 11 30. 11 45. 11 45. It was late on a school night, but I was like. It was? It was. I Sorry. literally told myself, I was like, I'm not allowed to leave his house until he kisses me. Like, in my mind, I was like, I'm And not guess what I did? <laughs> it was cute. It was cute. It yeah, sense. and then, so we're sitting in the chair, and then we just kissed. That's all. This is going to take me so long to edit. Favorite thing about each other? Everything. Your mm -hmm. hair, eyes. Okay, but like... Okay, like something you do. Yeah, be more specific. I love how she gets along with my family very well. And... Mm. My mom is in love with her. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm in love with your mom. I hang out with Justin's mom sometimes. Yeah. Honestly, True. sometimes I like your mom more. Okay. A bit. Yeah. I think my favorite thing, well, obviously, ooh, wait, can you melt butter like, all the way in a cookie? Yeah. Oh, okay. I would say my favorite thing about you is, well, obviously, like, he's so close with my family, too, and, like, my brother, like, he's so good with my brother. And that's like the cutest thing ever. But I would say my favorite thing about you is like how comfortable you make me. Like I feel like I could look like really ugly and I wouldn't be embarrassed. So that's I feel good. like that level of comfortableness, but then obviously just like being close to my family. Also, you're like really caring. Thank you. Like I feel like you have like a really good sense of like my moods or like if you even think that something could be wrong, even if it's not, you'll like ask me. And I appreciate that. Okay, pour that in there. Okay. Um, is he my first boyfriend? No, yes. but I'm his first girlfriend. Oh yeah, other way. I'm Who's the quieter slash loud one? No, I'm definitely quieter. Oh, we're both not like, I don't think either one is shy. Yeah, we're neither of us is shy, but like, I would definitely say that, well, he's just loud in general. <laughs> like, but yeah, I'm definitely more laid back, I feel like. Especially in like social situations where I don't know everyone, I'm more quiet. Like I'm talkative, but I'm more quiet. And he's like really sociable with everyone. Now sugar. Do you guys ever fight? Um, not- We haven't had a fight. Not verbally, but physically, yes. <laughs> we have a lot of pillow fights. We haven't had an actual fight, right? I feel like it's just cause like, we don't really take anything that seriously. I think that if we have any kind of issue, we like explain it and it just makes sense. And we're both just like really chill people. Like we don't mm -hmm. get jealous or anything, which is nice. What do you think of my lifestyle? Just like working out, waking up like early. Going YouTube? Sleep. Yeah. I also that. Just like everything. YouTube. everything. YouTube wise, I think it's great. Like that, I don't know if you know, but I feel like you have a big impact on people, like just in general, with mm -hmm. their lives. I think it's amazing. And you're, I don't know. I could never do what you do, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Okay. Oh, I like this one. 
Do you think physical touch okay. is more important than good conversations? I would say it's more important. I'm going to add on a second part. What is your love language and then what do you think my love language is? And then I'll do the same for you. Is that salt? No. <gasps> oh. Sugar. I would say, what's one acts of service? Mm -hmm. That one, actually that's more for like, like family. Like I like when my parents do stuff for me. I say with you, probably physical touch is the mm -hmm. most. But I also like, what's one? Is it one about words, kind words? Words of affirmation. Words of, I like that one too. Okay, and then which one do you think is one? Yours. I think always is, well for me, multiple. for me. Yeah, I, I have think different ones. Or like people. Either, I'd say physical touch. For me, at least. Yeah. But with family, maybe like, maybe like actually, I don't know. I said me No, that was good. That was good. I would say for me, definitely from him, it's either physical touch or I don't know. Like I don't know what it would be, but like random texts. Like when you just te randomly text me that you love me, or just like like extra things. Like I feel like it's hard to explain, but like just showing that you care. Like oh, I had a bad day, and then you're like, I, that could tell be me what it is. That but I don't need you to tell me like oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're mm -hmm. special. Like I don't know. Yeah. So I guess just I like it falls under that category. Okay, I guess like words of affirmation and then like physical touch, but I think it's really interesting that physical touch from you because before dating anyone, especially him, I literally hated touch. I would never hug anyone or cuddle with anyone. Like I was just, I couldn't. So I don't know. I kind of think it's funny. And then definitely you're like, you're a big cuddler, like physical touch and also acts of service like food yeah <laughs> food i like when <laughs> you make these <laughs> pancakes okay. Okay, okay favorite thing to do together we used to do it a lot more but i'd say going to santa cruz and the beach yeah we used it's to go kind to, like, of hard now yeah, it's cold school and but, school yeah we used to go to the boardwalk a lot we live in California, for the, those of you who don't know, so we're only like 30 minutes away from the beach. This summer we would go so much, but we're gonna bring it back. We're bringing back like sunrises. This summer, yeah. Yeah, for our six months. Surfing. That's what we're doing. Oh. And then I would say my favorite thing. Well, okay, obviously just like cuddling and hanging out and just like chilling, I guess. But I love like I mean everything. Like, I'm trying to think of a specific thing. Oh, one time we went to a drive-in. That was... Oh, yeah. I think that was my favorite date that we've ever been on. Was that? That was like... That's actually a question. Actually, I'm going to put that in. What's the? What's your favorite date that we've ever been on? I'd say Santa Cruz, too. I feel like our dates are more like hanging out. Mm -hmm. So it's like not yeah, that fancy. Yeah, we don't like go out to eat ever. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I don't want to spend that much money. Yeah, I'd say somewhere in Santa Cruz. Also, I want to go ice skating really bad. Just be ready for the amount of Christmas date vlogs. We have so many plans. We want to go to the city, ice skating. I want to go see Christmas lights. Mm-hmm. We already kind of did. ice skating? Did you know I used to do ice skating? No yeah. I quit the oh, like. Oh, I'm group. good. Oh, you are? I'm better. Put in two cups of flour. What sports do you play? Uh. Football is my main sport, and well, that's like my main one. But I also play volleyball for fun and dive occasionally. Yes. He dabbles in diving. And he used to play basketball and soccer, but I yeah. the surfing kind of is kind of skating, surfing, skating, surfing, occasional lifting. What do you mean occasional? Yeah, he I've gone the past like four days. Okay, not with me. I'm okay, you go at four in the morning. Okay, <laughs> Do you follow a similar lifestyle to me? If not, how does it affect your relationship? And then also, are we both morning people? Or no? Wait, I mean, I feel like, yeah. We do the same things at different times. Yeah, so to, to answer your question, he's definitely not a morning person, like at all. Like, you could sleep to like- Trust me, I- But like, he wakes up for me, which is where, I, that's another thing that I appreciate. He knows that like, I'm a big morning person, so like sometimes we'll go to Santa Cruz for the sunrise and then you have to wake up at like five. Oh. So you're not a morning person, but you do do it. You're and converting me. Just kidding. 
lifestyle wise i feel like yes obviously he's a teenage guy like he doesn't care as much about wellness and yoga but he did come to a hot pilates class with me and his mom and his sisters but i mean he's an athlete i'm an athlete like you care about being physically fit like you oh, yeah. go to the gym mm -hmm. you care about your protein so i feel like yeah so it doesn't and i mean even if he didn't i don't think it would affect our relationship because what i do is just very on my own it's not like i require your assistance so, what I'll be doing for the cookies. This is Grant's contribution. So, I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of baking soda into the cookies. Oh, fun fact, I actually made this bracelet. Just talented like that. I also knitted for a while. <laughs> Did you know that? No. <laughs> he oh, can also juggle. He can juggle. I can juggle. Put a clip. Actually, put a clip. <laughs> actually, can I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. How did I tell my family about him? So I, I don't know this. Okay, so this is your time to learn. Actually, wait, I don't even remember. Oh, yes, I do. Like guys, I was obsessed with him. Like I'm gonna be honest. I had just gotten out of a relationship. I was like, no men. I'm in my independent era. I don't need a boyfriend. It was like a 10 month relationship too. So I was like, I really, don't need this in my life. And then he joined diving. We would talk a lot and I got such a big crush so fast and I was literally obsessed. And I think that I literally came home and I told my mom that I had a crush. Like I had already told my parents that there was like a really cute guy that I really liked. Like all my friends knew. Like I kind of wanted him to find out. Yeah, I literally told everyone and anyone cause I was like, if they know him, I want him to know that I like him. I was feeling bold. I was convinced that we were gonna start dating. I was like, I'm going to make this happen. But I remember like telling my parents how much I liked him. Oh, oh, oh my God, I'm like remembering things as we go. Okay, so basically we went to Chipotle. He hadn't even asked me to prom. I forgot about Before this. Before we were dating? Yeah. No one went with us, that's why. Yeah, and we went out to Chipotle and we were just talking. I mean, we were basically just friends. Friends and one of them, or maybe two, I don't even know, had a massive crush on the other one. And I got back from practice and I was just like smiling. And I didn't even know I was smiling. Like I had the goofiest looking smile ever. And my mom noticed, cause she knew I was out with him and she noticed how much I was smiling. And I forget exactly what she said, but she just pointed out like how much that I was smiling after our date. I mean, so they already knew and then he came to my door and like invited me to prom so they already knew him and then when we first started dating my parents knew him already he was over at my house before we were ever started dating really? and yeah i remember like you would come over and we'd hang out by the fire pit and stuff so like they knew him yeah we were talking we were talking for a while and funny story he asked me to be his girlfriend <laughs> he asked me to be his girlfriend and i said no <laughs> And then I said yes because well, I was you like, didn't say no. You said I said oh I true. Need, I, I said need I need time, but like he asked That's me. That's a no. Yeah, it was like a kind no. Of it was a no, but it was like a yes. I really want to. And then on the nineteenth, we were cuddling, and because guys, like we were basically dating without officially dating. And I was like, I don't want this to ever end. If I'm already doing relationship stuff with you, why wouldn't I just date you? But I waited until the clock hit twelve, so our anniversary was on the twentieth. Because I hate the number well, nineteen. Oh, you do. Do you believe in right person, wrong time? It depends. Unless you're like not going to see each other again, that's the wrong time. But I would say if it's actually the right person, there's there couldn't be a wrong time. At what age do you think it's normal to start dating? Normal? Yeah. I don't know. It changes for everyone. It's true. Some people date sixth grade. Some people start dating senior year. Yeah, I feel like if there is no normal age, personally, I wouldn't recommend middle school because you can't drive yourself. Like, I, I mean, I've guys like I've done it all. Like, I dated in middle school. Would not recommend. Um, Who did you date in middle school? <laughs> <laughs> no. I've dated when I couldn't drive freshman year, and now I've dated obviously junior year when I'm older. And I would definitely say waiting. Like I enjoy it more just because I feel like you can do more stuff, like go on dates and stuff. But I don't think there's right age. I think it's more about the person, and you should not feel rushed or pressured at all. I wouldn't say wait because you yeah. don't think you're old enough though. Yeah. If you truly like. Like them. if you like someone, go for it. Nothing like, to lose. Yeah. Exactly. Who really confessed? First slash said I love you first. I said I love you first. 
I found out you liked me before you found out I liked the yeah. eyes. Yeah. That's kind of too different. with it. No, but I didn't tell you. I wanted you to know. So he said that he loved us first. Actually, tell us the story. What you did was really cute. We hung out and then we went for a drive. There was this hill near us. Like a really good view. So I brought her there. I mean, I wasn't really planning to. I was gonna ask, did you know like you wanted to say that? Or no. Or was like in the moment? I don't think so. I think it was just the right time. Yeah, I took her to the hill and then I low-key fell asleep and then I woke up and I'm like, oh. Yeah, then I said I love you. Okay, see, I think it's so funny how girls and guys are different because I was thinking about it for so long. I might have snap memories. There's like definitely a picture of me on my phone where it's like, I'm going to fall in love with him. Guys, I was obsessed. I'm like, I'm going to be honest. I think that now it's equal, but before I liked you so much. Mm -hmm. Literally from like the beginning, I knew that I was going to end up falling in love with you, which is kind of scary to me because I didn't want to, like mm -hmm. honestly. Then like, I remember it was like three months when we said I love you, but like, I definitely knew like Yeah, that's two what months. you said. I just didn't want to be the first one. Mm -hmm. I was just stubborn. What's the most embarrassing story of each other? I feel like we don't have like don't that know. many. Okay, think of just something funny. The most funny story. I can go first. Yeah, you go first. You're just so funny. Like you always make me laugh. Like I can't think of a time. You know what was really embarrassing Wait. for me? Oh God. <laughs> I know. Can we just instead say a time that we were just both embarrassed? Cause I know a time that I was I know a time I was embarrassed really bad. Really? So we're at Dive CCS, right? Oh. Like I haven't seen our parents very much before this, right? Oh. So like there's a stands and then you walk up to go to your dive and I walk past them and I'm like, I don't know, I like said hey. Hey guys, they knew who he was. I knew who I'm, they were. No, 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 but like they knew who you were. Like okay. I'm very close to my parents. I told them everything. They knew that I really liked him. They knew this was my love interest. It's like I walked back. I walk by him, like going to do my dive. I'm gonna give him a little. Uh, like, I'm gonna go hit this dive. Wait, can you put a video on this? I'm up for my dive. I, like, I don't know. It was a hard Long time. story short, I do the dive. How steep? How steep is he, I do the dive, and it's like the water, and my body's just like. Uh. And then, like, I get out of the water, like, my body is red, I'm, like, waddling. Oh, show the picture of my... Yeah, I'll put it in. It was just embarrassing, because I, like, walk by them. <laughs> like, <laughs> the avoiding eye contact. <laughs> the only one that I can think of, which I'm happy that it happened, because, like, again, like, I'm so comfortable around you, like, I... Like, I don't really mm -hmm. care anymore. But at the time, we had just started dating. We were in Santa Cruz. We were going to the beach boardwalk. And we went and got frozen yogurt. And I remember we were talking about... It was just would you rather. Like, it was the dumbest thing ever. I don't laugh, like, anywhere near the amount that I laugh when I'm, like, with you. Mm -hmm. But something that he said just sent me. And I had food in my mouth. And I was trying so hard not to laugh and like spit it out. Like I was ugly laughing, like a different level of ugly laughing. And I'm pretty sure it's not <laughs> shot out of my nose. In my car? Yeah. Anyways, it's not shot out of my nose. And yeah, you know what? Man. Now I'm not scared for him to see my snot. So. <laughs> We're gonna finish baking them because we're almost done and we'll like put them on the pan and stuff And then while they cook we'll do more of like a sit down because we have a few more deeper questions <laughs> Oh do I have to get up the questions? Okay, yeah. the cookies are in they're baking so now we'll do a little more talking Oh, I like this one. Do you feel intimidated by Amelie spending time independently and working on myself? Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm a very independent. Like, I like mm -hmm. my alone time. Like, I love hanging out with you, but like, yeah. I'm like, um, I'm going to sleep at nine o'clock. No, yeah, I told you. Respect it. I mean, it's just a you thing. No feelings about it. Don't dislike it. Now, our advice for other couples. How do you maintain a healthy relationship since we're so young? Well, I feel like we're not that young. I mean, we're young, but like, it's not like we're in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like we have a healthy relationship because none of us gets jealous. Yeah. Like he has girlfriends, I have boyfriends. Well, I trust you so much. Like, it would never even occur to me that you would do anything bad. Also, we live very separate lives. Mm -hmm. We see each other probably every day. So it's not like either of us feels neglected. We make time to see each other and like, 
talk to each other and stuff but then also he has his friends i have my friends like i go to the gym alone like we both feel very comfortable doing things alone and i feel like ooh, having that like separateness makes our time together like more better because it's not like also, overdone i don't have much to add to that Oh, also you guys, another thing that I love about Grant is that all of my dogs and pets love him. And I have some pretty skittish animals. Not so much this one, but like my big dog and I have two other cats and they can get pretty skittish. I feel like it speaks highly of someone if like animals like you and all of my pets love him, so. <laughs> what is your advice for other young couples? I'd say probably give each other like space in a long time. Like you don't have to be talking to them or with them 100% mm -hmm. of the day. I agree. I just think like be mature about things and don't cause unnecessary problems. For example, with Snapchat, like sometimes I'll be undelivered for five hours and I'll look and he's on like six minutes ago. Instead of being like, oh, he's neglecting me. He doesn't want to see me. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe he was using it for homework. Maybe he was like, it's literally not that important. Like I know it's not personal. So it's just don't take things personally. Mm -hmm. Unless and like trust, like it obviously. really, yeah. Like if trust. you don't trust each other, there's, I don't know, you shouldn't be dating them. <laughs> I really hope the music isn't that annoying. Um, I like it. Oh, what do you think about my fitness journey? Like where you started? Yeah. Impressive, very impressive. And I don't know. I like how you used it to help other people. Not only did you go from that to this, you made things to help other people that would do the same thing, kind of. Or want to go through the same thing. How do you balance busy schedules and make time for each other? Yeah, I feel like now that football's over, you're less busy. Right. But like, pretend that football's still happening. Mm -hmm. What's like, what, what would you say? Like how we hung out? Just like with my diving, YouTube, mm -hmm. school, how your we made school. time to do stuff. Yeah, football, because we both have a lot of stuff. <laughs> how did we? We hung out at nights a lot, yeah. I think. Because I had football till like 7, she had dive till 6.30. Luckily, I don't have a lot of homework this year. I definitely have much more homework than you do. No question. But yeah, like, I don't. also, I don't I'm really good with time. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see anyone in the comments coming <laughs> at me for cookie dough, because I will risk salmonella for cookie dough. You know what I mean? Okay, right now. <laughs> Did we answer this? What made you guys fall for each other? Okay. Mm, I would say more than what made me like get to know you, which made me like you, is how easy you were to talk to. I feel like with a lot of people, it's hard to have a conversation with them. I don't know. It was just very easy to talk to her and yeah. And it made me okay, get about, to know her. What about like after we started dating? Okay. After we started dating, what made me fall for you? You're very open. Like, you mm -hmm. tell me everything. Same thing, kinda. It's just really easy to talk to you. Mm. Mm. I mean, same. But also, for me, it's like all the obvious stuff. I feel like with you, I mean, I always compare it to like past experiences, but sometimes in other relationships in my life, not even like romantically, just like people, I feel like almost I have to change myself to fit and like be accepted by them. But with you, I feel like you're gonna love me or like want to be friends with me or whatever, depending on the time of mm -hmm. our relationship. Like I felt like I could be myself and either way you would like it. Maybe. And you made me nervous, like I mean, butterflies. Same. Someone asked for a crumble review. I'm gonna be honest, we yeah. haven't had crumble in like a while. Oh Literally had it for like that was every like, week for like a I week. I feel like that was our or, way yeah. of dating. Like, yeah, no, like, those were our dates. Crumble. Do you want to taste one? Yeah. Reveal. They're very flat. Very flat. We'll bring it back eventually. Break. Yummy. Oh, these are good. Crumble review. Will um, we bring it back? This week looks good. We'll see. Yeah. What's his favorite type of hummus? That's a good one to end on. Favorite hummus. <laughs> I like it plain. Just a normal hummus. <laughs> but specifically Trader Joe's hummus. Trader mm -hmm. Joe's is like culture. That was our Q&A. I hope that you guys like the Grant content. He will be in many more videos, don't worry. We're gonna do more vlogs. Yes, my life has a lot to do with like fitness and all of that, but also I wanna make my channel just, I don't know, like I wanna show more of my life just outside of fitness. 
and just like all aspects of it. So definitely gonna be a lot more just vlogs, life in general, maybe vlogmas, we'll see. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. If you're not subscribed already, please make sure that you subscribe because it would really help me and it means a lot and this community has already grown so much. Smash the like button. Also, make sure to follow my other platforms. It's just Amelie Desai. I have Instagram, TikTok, post a lot of the same stuff there. Mm. And with that, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.